Bottega Veneta is a brand without a brand. It doesn't even have its own logo. And that emphasis on style over sales, on quality over marketing, is one of the key things that's actually endeared Bottega Veneta to me personally over the years. So today, it is my absolute privilege to present to you the 2022 Bottega Veneta eyewear collection. So hi, I'm Robert, style and vision consultant here at the Spectacle Factory, and it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And if you're into fashion, but you're into secret fashion, there's a good chance that one of these Bottega Veneta glasses is gonna be the perfect pair for you. But for many of you, and if this includes you, trust me, you are not alone, who don't know who Bottega Veneta are and what the Italian fashion house is, here's a brief history on Bottega Veneta. So they started in the 1960s as a leather goods manufacturer, and they became famous for their intricato woven leather pattern that's been featured for countless years, decades, in beautiful handbags, wallets, purses, even shoes and bracelets and belts. <laughs> Lots of different leather products and they became famous for the quality of what they made. Over the years, they've had a lot of trials and tribulations. They've had peaks and troughs in the brand's popularity because they have no marketing to sustain them. As I mentioned earlier, they don't even have a Bottega Veneta logo. What we're definitely seeing over the last 12 months is a big resurgence in the brand. Ironically, following their deletion of everything on social media, they decided they were done with social media. Everything they do is based around the quality, the craftsmanship, and not around the branding. So how does that transfer, as it often doesn't, into the eyewear? There's certainly no leather embellishments on these glasses, and that might have been one thing that I would have liked to see. But what we do see is beautiful quality, simplistic, but surprising designs. And let me explain to you what I mean by that. With every single pair of Bottega that I tried on, I was impressed that at a second look, they were 10 times better than at first look. This is a great example. Relatively subtle style. Not too much to immediately talk about, but... There are certain elements that I just absolutely adore. Obviously the semi-transparent color, we're always talking about crystal on this channel. And this is a great example of a brown crystal colorway. The gold elements on the side, I'm not sure where they draw inspiration from, if I'm being honest, but it is a beautiful touch that is kind of iconic in a way that like you don't know what it is, but you can tell that it is cool. I think this is a really nice embellishment on the temples personally. I really appreciate the sweeping lines on the sides and the slight slope that's just here on the top of the bridge. A very subtle detail that combines with the rounded edges at the bottom of the frame and the slight tapering inwards to make these more than just a regular acetate frame. You might look at these and say that they're quite ordinary, but actually, I mean, I have a shop with thousands of glasses in. There are none that are the exact same shape as these. And bear in mind, this is the most, I guess, basic shape that Bottega uh, make, or at least the most basic shape that I'm gonna be showcasing for you today. Moving on, and this takes what I was just saying to the next level, because on this slightly rounded shape, we see that it's actually very, very, very unique. Again, I don't have a pair of glasses in this store that are the same exact shape as these frames. Do you know how hard it is to actually do that? Very few brands come up with original shapes. I could mention, for example, LA Eyeworks, but they stand apart from the whole eyewear industry. So to see a you know fashion label, a traditional fashion label, designing shapes that are unique but still very wearable is really cool to see. And it really ties in with that classic Italian heritage of Bottega Veneta as a brand. You know, one of the most established fashion houses, they can call on that history and these are classic styles, but with that modern, quirky, cool twist. Every time I put these frames on, I like them more and more. The first time I was like, okay, fairly plain, fairly straightforward. Then I looked at them again and I was like, oh, actually that's quite interesting. The lines on this frame are kind of cool. And the third time I was like, wow, this really blew me away in such a subtle and subversive way. Maybe you feel I'm getting too overexcited, but it's rare that you come across a fashion brand you know, along the lines of, say, Versace, Gucci, that is original 
and cool and classic at the same time. I'm super impressed with this eyewear collection. Hopefully it shows. I think they actually did justice to the brand for maybe the first time ever in Bottega Veneta eyewear history. Now we have a super bold, super cool marbled brown sunglass with brown tinted solid lenses to match. And I think they got the proportions of this just right. Again, it's at first glance a fairly normal shape, but then we have this sculpted line here that just elevates the frame and also at the bridge as well. Now you do see those kind of dips quite often, but the way this is sculpted and the lines that you see there are actually really to be admired and really unique. I also like with this one how the gold detailing on the temple continues round to the front to give it that extra element of luxury. I think they really achieved that. As mentioned, zero branding on any of these frames. Now I do have to say that there are other Bottega Veneta frames within the collection that do feature branding. So you might have Bottega Veneta in lettering on the temples. Please avoid those. If you see a logo or a name on the outside of a Bottega Veneta product, it's not really Bottega Veneta, or it's, I mean, obviously, I'm not saying it's fake, but that's just not what they're about as a brand. It's all about stealth luxury, as they call it, as I call it, as people call it. You can tell that they are beautiful, you can tell that they're well made, but you can't tell who made them unless you know. And if you know, you know. There is the Bottega Veneta name just on the top of the temples, and I like that. It's discreet, and nobody else is going to see it, only you can. Now, this is an early contender for frame of the year. This is a beautiful rose gold aviator semi rimless frame, which I love wearing because it's actually extremely comfortable. Despite not being the lightest pair of aviator semi rimless frames I've tried, this really reminds me of those Cartier solid gold aviators that I wore in a few months ago. And they blew me away and I was so tempted to get them, but I feel like I'm even more tempted to get these because Mainly, I mean, they're a bit more practical. You know, you don't want to be necessarily walking around every day with solid gold frames on your face. And these are simply gold colored. But not just that, again, the shaping on it is just that little bit unique. You know, the lines here, very, very cool and forms quite a unique, quite individual shape on these frames. I feel like the nose pads are actually really comfortable as well. A lot of frames like this, I find the nose pads a bit rigid and a bit uncomfortable. Maybe with longer wear, these might be, of course, you could swap them out for softer pads. But the sizing of it, the proportions, and those corners just make this a super cool rose gold aviator. Probably the best rose gold aviator I've come across. And as I mentioned, an early contender for frame of the year in my end of year frame awards. By the way, make sure you subscribe for that. You don't want to miss out. And I do want to mention at this point that there is a lens that if you buy this frame, I really think you should be considering. Let me get a sample for you. So this is a lens called Sensity Shine Brown, made by Hoya in Japan. And it has a very unique rose gold finish to the lens, which when combined with the Bottega Veneta rose gold aviator, really adds an extra element to them. It's gonna tie in the lens with the frame. But the best bit about this is when you step out into the sun, and this is going to simulate sunlight, you get a rose gold full reflective sunglass lens. Let's give this just a minute to change. You can see it really changing before your eyes. And the more sunlight that the lens is exposed to, the darker and darker it's going to go until you get a full sunglass shade. And now you can see we've got a fully reflective rose gold finish to tie in with these frames. I'll try to wear them and give you a better impression. I think this frame combined with that lens is just gonna be absolutely incredible and I'm super tempted to order it myself. I probably will straight after filming this video. Moving on. So, you see this pair of sunglasses? Looks almost like your stereotypical quintessential Wayfarer. But you would be wrong. Because again, they've done it. They have reinvented that shape with just some very subtle adjustments. First of all, we've got a, an ultra chunky acetate used in this frame to make it even more bold, striking, impactful. We've also got a slightly narrower than usual depth to the frame. On top of that, the way this just slowly curves up to the top 
and then has more of a straight finish here and then rounded inwards, particularly towards the bridge to provide almost like a cat eye kind of element to them is really unmistakable and really striking. At first glance, I thought this was more of a feminine frame, but I definitely think that it's more of a unisex style. A beautiful black pair of sunglasses that still manages to not be boring. You know, it's very hard with black in sunglasses. They tend to be very dull and dark. This one isn't somehow, and they've really achieved a lot with this sunglass. I love it. I love the overall aesthetic, and it's one of the first Wayfarer style sunglasses that, again, I've absolutely fallen in love with. I'm starting to feel like maybe I was just biased towards Bottega Veneta in the first place because I am a lover of their brand, but I really don't think so because normally fashion brands in eyewear is, is, is not something I get behind. I feel like there's always a disconnect between the ready-to-wear clothing, accessories, and the sunglasses and glasses. And maybe there is as well with Bottega Veneta. I mean, there aren't any like immediate links between this and leather goods. Although they do remind me very much of those really cool boots that they produced either end of last year or earlier this year. They do give me those kind of vibes, but on their own as an individual piece, brand aside, I just think this is a really cool, very impressive work from Bottega. And I've saved the best to last because speaking of shapes, this is just such an instantly iconic, unique, bold, beautiful eyewear frame. Absolutely stunning. One of the most fashionable styles I've seen in a long time and a really original shape that does harken back a little bit to the 70s. It definitely has that vintage vibe to it, but the way they've tapered the shape here and made it slightly shallower than you would find with a normal frame in this kind of shape makes it immediately distinctive. Trust me, as someone who's designed glasses myself, it is so hard to design a frame that is unique while still being classic at the same time. And Bottega haven't only done it once, they've done it six times in their eyewear collection. Now, don't get me wrong, I mentioned there are other pieces that Bottega Veneta make. All but these six, I personally would avoid. I've not been a fan of the collection as a whole, but these six pieces stand alone and stand as beautiful examples of amazing eyewear. Right up there with the independent brands who focus just on glasses. That is an achievement from a fashion brand that has many other strings to its bow. It's rare, in fact, this is the first time I've ever been as impressed with an eyewear collection from a well-known fashion brand. But Bottega is right up there as one of the most amazing eyewear collections, at least these six pieces, that you can shop for if you're looking for a new piece of fashionable eyewear. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed presenting them to you. I hope I've really got across the unique, masterful designs that Bottega have created with this eyewear collection and the very subtle, very little elements that have allowed them to elevate from boring to beautiful, from simple to stunning. That's what I think they've achieved. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this video, give us a like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye-bye.